San Jose green lights a mega land deal after one of the most raucous council meetings in city history. People were being thrown out just for, you know, just for saying anything. It doesn't really matter how many ways city council spins it. They're making backroom deals and we're going to defeat them. The protests led to arrests and a rare closing of the council chambers. Tensions high over the deal's potential impact on housing costs. But KPX 5's Under Ramirez with a reality check on how the Google debate is just a small part of a bigger problem for San Jose. Len? That's right. The city calls it a jobs and housing imbalance. And basically it means that too many people who live here in San Jose commute outside the city for work. And that creates uh, budget problems. It creates a strain on services that the city can't pay for. The Google deal is a step in the right direction, but it's just a fraction of what the city actually needs. Protesters chanted and chained themselves to the seats at City Hall. Police cleared the chambers and arrested the protesters, including Danielle Gonzalez. Our goal is for the public lands in San Jose to be used to house people. But after all that, the city council voted unanimously to sell 21 city acres to Google for $110 million for a downtown campus. And the big reason is jobs, potentially 25,000 for San Jose. With regard to the jobs housing imbalance, we often uh, talk about that. More than nine hours into last night's meeting, the key element of the deal came into focus. I think we've been chasing it for, for many, 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 many years. Simply put, San Jose's historic jobs housing imbalance means the city has more housing and people than it does jobs. I don't think there's a comparable city to San Jose that has so much more housing than it does jobs. I think San Jose is kind of unique. And here's why that's a problem. Let's say you live in San Jose and work in Santa Clara. Well, for starters, San Jose has to pay for all of your police and fire protection. San Jose also has to pay for your sidewalks and roads so you can drive to your job in Santa Clara. But San Jose doesn't get a penny of the tax revenue your company generates. That all goes to Santa Clara. And therein lies the problem. San Jose is paying a lot of the freight for your happy existence, but the money is going somewhere else. But San Jose officials say even with the Google deal, it will take many more just like it to finally solve the problem. The general plan calls for adding 360,000 jobs <laughs> and 120,000 housing units. And so the city needs hundreds of thousands of jobs and hundreds of thousands of housing units in order to make the balance work. And so while this deal was painful, and it really was painful for a lot of people here in San Jose, it was necessary uh, for the city council to do that. And that's why it was a unanimous decision. Reporting live in San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX5. All right, Len, we appreciate it. Thank you.